When Ziggy started having breathing problems and difficulty keeping food down, Andrea Martinez acted fast. It kind of scared us, and so we took him. That's when we took him into the vet around 9 o'clock. They went to a Davis County Animal Hospital and learned he'd need surgery. A bit pricey, but Ziggy is part of the family, she says. And yeah, it was our baby. It was my daughter's best friend. It was my dog's best friend. It was ours. Money wasn't an issue. They left Ziggy and say they were told they'd get a call after surgery later that night. It came at 2.30 in the morning. Ziggy didn't make it. I was confused. He kept beating her on the bush about it, but he was saying it like if I already know, like I should have known. Groggy and confused, Andrew says she was put on hold. And he got back on there and he apologized and he said, I am so sorry that this happened. We got confused and ended up calling another dog's mom. Another dog named Ziggy. As Andrea understands it now, they got permission to put her dog down from the other Ziggy's owner. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to be a more extended surgery. Do you want to continue it or do you want to let him go? They chose to let him go. Ziggy was in bad shape and it's hard to say what his life would have been like if the vet had been given approval to keep trying. But I just wish we would have had the say. The vet has been very apologetic, she says, waving their bill and giving them a nice urn, a plaque and a Christmas ornament with Ziggy's paw print. She said there is no making it right, but this is what we can do to show that they are sorry. In Davis County, I'm Kyle Harvey, 2 News.